Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great little gallery effect for you today. We've got a regular gallery here. When I hover on an image, it's going to pop out to the front and enlarge. When you take your mouse off, it's going to drop back to where it was. And of course, we've got a little light box effect going on as well. Really nice little effect to have on your desktop site. Really easy to do. We've got to write a couple of lines of code for this. But as usual, any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy paste, use it as you will. Okay, well, let's get started. This particular gallery is the one we built where we were making different columns on different styles. I'm just gonna start with a regular gallery and we'll get this done. Let's enable the visual builder. Okay, well, I'm gonna go down and simply delete the row that this is in here. And we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I've got a section here, blue tab. I'm going to add a row. Inside my row, I'm going to put a single column. And funnily enough, I'm going to use a gallery module. There we are. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here. Plain enough to build just about any site. Let's pop the gallery module in there. Okay, and it's going to prompt us to add some images. Let's just grab a few images. And start there perhaps and go to here. Maybe one more. There we go, got an even number. And as with all galleries, you can move these things to where you want by simply left clicking, dragging them to where you want and releasing your mouse. And if you want to delete one, it's got a little trash can there. If you want to add more, got a little plus sign there. Okay, it's popped those in there. We're not seeing as many as I want to see, so let's go on down. I'm going to say 12, perhaps. I don't particularly want to see titles, things like that. So elements down below. I can turn off titles. There's a few more images. You can have pagination down the bottom if you want to. I'm not going to show that. I'm just going to demo this little 12 image gallery here. Okay, don't want to link it to anywhere. Don't particularly want to put a background in. If you want to actually tighten these images up so there's less of a gap in between them, let's just say this. We can do that in the row itself. Going into the row, green tab, into the design. I'm going to go down to sizing and custom gutter width. The gutters are the space below and to the sides of these images here. So I'm going to say use custom gutter width. The more you take it down, the less the gap will be. And one, they've got no gap. And obviously, if you want it wider, you can take it up the other way. OK, well, I'm going to leave mine just like that. I don't mind them touching a little bit like that. So let's save this. And now we can create our little hover effect. So what I'm going to do now is go into the actual gallery module itself. And as I hover over, we've got a little overlay. As I'm going to have them grow when we hover over them, I don't want that overlay there. I just want to see the image and perhaps an icon that's going to indicate you can pop it out into a light box. So we'll go in there. I'm going to go over to design. Here's our overlay right here. Let's get rid of that. Overlay icon color. Well, that's that little plus right there. I'm going to make mine white overlay background color that's that sort of opaque white there I'm gonna have that transparent we're just left with the icon there and let's perhaps put an eyeball in Divi's just teamed up with font awesome so there's an awful lot of icons you can do a search that works for me I'm gonna put the eyeball in there well it's got a little button right here if you click on that it'll break out into a breakout box make it easier to search eyeball is gonna work for me today there we go, great. Okay, that's all I'm actually gonna do styling wise inside here. Let's go ahead and go and we'll code this thing. So I'm gonna go over to advanced, gonna go down to custom CSS, gonna roll down a little bit and we'll find a box called gallery item. Great. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these a Z or Z index. And what that does is it tells it or it tells any element what position it should be front or back of another element. So for this, I'm going to say Z index, Z dash index, colon. 
I'm going to perhaps use 5. Then when we hover over it, I'm going to give it a higher number. So when we hover and grow, the higher number will appear on the top of the lower number. So if I do this, and I'll show you an example. Then I'm going to roll up, and this is common to all DV modules. If you roll over the dark writing within a module, you see some little icons appear. If there's a little arrow there, there is in our case, go to the thing you want to affect, hit the little arrow, and we can set a desktop and a hover state. Desktops when the mouse is not on it, obviously hovers when the mouse is on it. So I'm going to copy that, control C, I'm going to hit the hover, and when we hover over it, I'm going to make it a Z index of say 10. I mean, six would probably do. As long as it's higher than the five, it's going to appear on top. That way, when we make these things grow, whichever one we're hovering on will grow a little bit, but it'll be on top of the others so you see the whole thing. Well, that's our little hover done there. Okay, now we've got our Z index in there. When we hover over it, I also want it to grow so it stands out from all the others like we had in the, the example earlier. So I'm going to say transform scale transform colon scale will open some round brackets and inside the round brackets you can tell it the amount you want it to scale I think 1.5 might be too big let's say 1.3 so it'll grow by about a third and you can see all of them have grown like that now because we're actually doing it but it's only going to affect the one we're hovering on when we go to the other end maybe let's take it up to 1.5 be dramatic obviously you fix yours however you want okay I put a little semicolon on the end of there. Great. Well, the time it actually takes to get from desktop when you put your mouse on it to growing to the hover state is going to be absolutely instant with code here. So let's slow it down for a bit of drama with a bit of transition duration. So I'm going to say transition dash duration colon. And let's maybe, I think I used 0.8 of a second last time, which is nice and gentle. So I'm going to say point. 8s and obviously again you fix it how you want to fix yours okay so it's going to take 0.8 of a second almost a second to go from this to this when we hover over it that should make it nice and gradual so let's save our changes here and we should have achieved our hover effect go down to the bottom here we'll save draft and let's exit the visual builder there's our little gallery when I hover over one. As you can see, it's popping out. We've got our little icon here. And if you click on the icon, it's going to pop out into a light box. Obviously, if that's what you've got it selected to do. And that's a nice little effect to have on your desktop site. I'm not sure I'd do it on my tablet or mobile because they'd have to double tap for light box, single tap for hover, but it will work. But that's entirely up to you. So there you go guys, there's how to create a nice little hover effect for your Divi theme gallery. People are mousing around your site and this starts to happen, it's going to get their eyeballs on it pretty quick, which is what you want with a website. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget this code's down below. If you have any questions, please put them below the video, I'll do my best to answer them or create a little video demo for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.